Hello, good morning brothers and sisters. Welcome to our online morning devotion. And uh, today I want to talk about, uh, the title is, When God Seems Distant. When God Seems Distant. And uh, I want to share from Psalms uh, 145, uh, verse 18 to 21. 18 to 21, and it reads this way. The Lord is near to all who call on Him. To all who call on Him in truth. He fulfills the desires of those who fear Him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over all who love Him, but the wicked He will destroy. My mouth will speak in praise of the Lord. Let every creature praise His holy name forever and ever. Now, it is the one of the most hardest experience when you and I feel that we are all alone, isn't it? And it can be a most difficult time when our closest family member or even friends, they are not there for us when we are going through that real difficult moment, isn't it? What more when God Himself, the one whom we depend on so much, the one whom we put our entire hope and trust in, uh, at the moment, when God seems distant, we don't feel Him, uh, that He's nearby. And when we don't seem to see His miraculous wonders in our life, what will we do? What can we do about it? Well, here's my encouragement for you. First things first, I think I want to go back on the Scriptures. You know, when our minds uh, will fail us, our emotions and our energy is down and depleted. I gotta go and read and savor on God's word. There's nothing like feeding upon God's word in our most down and lowest moment. Because the most of the time, what we feel, you know, our emotions that is running all over the place, uh, most of the time, it is not what it really is, isn't it? It is not the reality at most times. Yes, of course, those feelings are real. Depression is real. Sadness is real, isn't it? Uh, but of course, we don't downplay those feelings. But those feelings, we see, they will not last forever. Uh, they come and go in an instant. In fact, God made us. God, made, God gave us feelings, isn't it? So importantly, that we learn to manage our feelings, manage them by submitting to the Word of God. Feelings, again, come and go, but God's Word, we must remember, always stands forever. Amen. So when we are feeling that God is distant, this is a good verse that we just read to remind us otherwise. Where in verse 18, it says that the Lord is near to all who call on Him, to all who call on Him in truth. So whether you feel Him near or not, you've got to get it right. The truth is, God is all-present. And only He's all-present. God is right there beside us. He's near to who? To all who call on Him. You see, God is no respecter of persons. Even the non-believers, the atheists, people who don't believe in God, when they call upon God, when, they, when, when God responds to them, they get shocked. But today, Folks, you and I, are we calling on God? Maybe you, this time around, maybe you have called and this time you give up calling. But hey friends, never stop uh, giving up calling on God. Trust that He is nearer than what you expected. You know, God cares for you whether you feel it or not. When you are in your struggle, deeply buried in your pain and problems, remember that you are His child. God will never leave you nor forsake you. Okay? Uh, but are you and I calling out to Him today? You know, most of the times we say, no problem. You know, we, we do call for help. You know, we, we, we call for, um, we ask Mr. Google, we ask here, we ask there. But the true source of unlimited help, strength and wisdom is just a tap away. So church, let us call on Him. He will answer. And of course, don't just call on Him. It says what? Call on Him in truth. 
It simply means this. You call on Him like you really mean it with your whole life. You respond to God in full truthfulness and transparency. The Hebrew meaning for truth here means firmness, faithfulness and continuance. It means don't just call once, don't just call twice. We are to keep on at it with firmness, faithfulness and continuance. The Lord sees our heart. In verse 19, he said, He fulfills the desire of those who fear Him. He hears their cry and saves them. Not only God is near to those who call on Him in truth, He fulfills the desires of those who fear Him. How does God fulfill? Well, He hears their cry and saves them. This is a promise to us. If we say that He would do, He will surely fulfill it. But on our part again, first requirement of those who would call on Him in truth, second requirement is that those who would fear Him. Is um, fearing the Lord a very big deal? Yes, 100%. Fearing the Lord doesn't mean we are frightened or in terror. To fear the Lord is to show reverence, is to be humble and recognize God's sovereignty over our lives. It's to reverence and fear God, is to trust God completely about whatever you may feel. And you know, whatever your feelings may tell you, those of us who choose to fear the Lord, recognize God's bigness over our lives. And without a doubt, He will surely hear our cry and He will save us. Now let's go on. Verse 20. It says that the Lord watches over all those who love Him, but all the wicked He will destroy. The third requirement here, even when God seems distant, what should we do? Love Him. Continue to love Him. Never stop loving the Lord. Love Him with all your heart, your mind, your soul, your strength. Keep on loving Him. Serving Him. You know, keep on giving your best to Him. Keep on worshipping and praising Him. And that's what verse 21 says, My mouth will speak in praise of the Lord. Let every creature praise His holy name forever and ever. Never allow our feelings, never allow discouragement to hold back our total devotional and love and commitment from God. With our heart, with a heart full of gratitude, keep on thanking Him even when we have not yet seen our answers, even when we are tempted to curse, even when we are tempted to complain that God is not fair. Know the truth. The truth will set you free. God remains the same. God is a just God. God is a good God. God is a loving God. He watches over us. You know the Hebrew meaning here that God watches over us, it simply is that He will preserve us. He will keep us safe. He guards over us. Again, whether we feel it or not, it is final. The Lord watches over those who love Him. So let us not stop uh, giving Him our total praise. So before I end this uh, today's devotion, I would like to share something simple in relation to this topic. You know, I'm reminded about my daughter's uh, experience. Uh, now she's two years old. And now that we have our second child, you know, Kendra's younger brother, Kaysen. You know, she seems to be always having a struggle, maybe even a lack of sense of security. She always be asking, Baba leh? Mami leh? It's very understandable if we are not there for her, but in the moment, but still, when she calls out to us, even when we are rightfully there, standing physically in front of her. You know, it caught me thinking to understand that even when we ask the question, whether God is near us, God, where are you? We need to understand, it doesn't take away the fact that God, our Abba Father, is always ever so close to us, despite no matter how we feel. Today, may I encourage you, if you're feeling God is distant, remember to always fall back on God's word. The four requirements, keep on calling to Him, keep on fearing Him, keep on loving Him, and keep on praising Him. All right? Let us to learn to align our feelings to the word of God. I pray that news will bless you. God bless you. Have a great week.